nuts and saddles and files. Oh my! Alright folks, thanks for tuning in and welcome back. What do you say that we make a nut and saddle for this guitar today? Okay? Uh, the owner ordered these, I think, from Stumac. They're both blanks. They're both bone. Definitely bone. And, uh, but we're going to have to size them down to fit in this groove up here perfectly. And you can see the saddle is way too long. I'll bring you over here and show you what I'm getting into here. Oh, right, how we have to, what we got to do to get into this thing. Do it! <laughs> okay, so here's the sap, uh, saddle. You can see how big and wide it is. It's just uh, long, man, this way. And it's intonated. If you can see right there, right there. Stupid camera focuses. Maybe if I. Yeah, you can see where it's intonated, right there. That goes in the second string, okay? I'll show you in a minute how I got to cut it. Right now, I got this nut blank here, and there's a slot right here, you see? I think you can see that slot. Okay, this nut blank, we want it to sit down in that slot and up square with the neck, and it makes a pretty good bit going down into the slot flat. So we'll have to go to the sander and remove air, uh, material off of this area right here. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't know if I was in the camera. So let, let's do that first. Take it down a little bit. I need to. I need to zero that thing, and I want it on thousands. And it's going to measure the uh, the thickness of the thing here. I'm going to have to put it down in there this way and do it. I think I can't do it that way. I got to do it from my side. Make sure on zero we are. Yeah, there we go. There we go. This has just got a, uh, I'm using this in here, and as it measures, see it gets bigger, just like this would. But it's got, uh, I don't know, I can't explain it, man. It's got pointers on the outside of it, see what I mean, how it works. And I can get right in there with that. Alright, we're on zero. Turn it till it hits both sides. Hundred thirty thousandths, and it is touching both sides. I wasn't hitting this board up here before. Check it one more time. I want to be absolutely sure. Two thirty, yeah. Two thirty point five, actually, it says. And see this, this blank. It is uh, two hundred forty-seven, two hundred forty-eight. What I was talking about with this saddle, see, it's right here, it's the uh, only intonated part on the whole saddle. And it's filed back that way for the second string. The rest of them's all coming forward. We'll work with that when we get it in there. But see, you would think that I could just stick it in there like this, measure it, and cut one in the saddle off. You can't do that because I put this, this part that's intonated for the second string between the third and fourth strings. So we're going to have to cut both ends of it off. So that uh, intonated part will sit right there in front of the second uh, bridge pin. So we're going to have to cut both ends off of that. But let's do the uh, let's do the nut first. Already measured and marked it. So let's go grind it. Grind our nuts. All I got to do here, make sure I got the right side of this thing. I'm going to grind this side. There's the marks. And this is a very tight area right here. I've got this set at 45 degrees. So we should be good to go. Or 90 degrees rather. We should be good to go there. And all i got to do is just hold that there. And I'm just going to hold my finger against it. And grind it down until we, I get to the marks. Now let's do it! It's not quite down to the marks yet, 
but I don't want that nut to get hot and it was starting to a little bit get a little bit warm so I'm just going to go a little bit at a time with this I don't want to heat the nut up uh, let it cool off or put it against that metal surface so cool off because it's cold and I'll bring you back when I get ready to slip it in <laughs> Here we go. Okay, now, look how well that fits, man. Check that out. Like a glove. The only problem now is, if I slide this side over here in until it's smooth with the guitar body it's sticking out over here <laughs> so we can fix that easy enough it's by chopping this side off I'm going to hold it there and mark it with the pencil on both sides now well, two sides and have to remove the Come on, man, focus. That much. That much and the line that you see. Grind it all away. Or I might put, maybe I'll take a Dremel tool and cut it off. All right, I can't see the camera, man, the monitor, these bright lights. So I hope it's in there. It looks like it is. Uh, I got to cut that at, kind of at an angle because that's the way the guitar neck is, and you want that to feel. I know you probably can't see the angle on this side. This one's going to have one too. That's why the line is, you know, not straight with the nuts. So let's do it. And I want to leave a little bit on there. I don't want to take it completely off immediately. <laughs> Gotta put a mask on, man. Now we're in business. I think. It's like a glove, boys. Uh, I'm going to take a file, though. It, man, that's some really sharp edges on there. Just round those over a little bit. Matter of fact, I'll take them over on the sander and do it. Just have to just barely knock the corners and the, the edges and sides off a little bit. And that puppy would be ready. That's a perfect angle on that, angle on that cut, the way I cut this side. The, uh, the way I angled the... Uh, marked it the way I marked it I could keep that angle see there's angles come in like this you know this way to line up with the neck and that's what we want but I'm going to take some of that sharpness way man you could get cut on that I'm telling you it would literally cut you that bone is hard shit baby now there are a million ways you can do this right here what I'm getting ready to do the way I'm going to do it tonight is I've got a regular Martin nut right there. And I've got them back to back with the one we just cut off. And this is a regular Martin uh, string distance. I have a 12 thousandths file here. And I'm just going to lay it into the slot of this old Martin nut. Roll it up. I just want to mark that for right now. That's going to be, uh, let's see, that'll be the first string. Make sure I got that right. Yeah. That'll be the first string. I can see the mark. I'm going to go with the 18th file here. Do the very same thing. 
lay it down on the slot and just gently mark the slot where the second string is going to live. <laughs> okay. Let's try. Oh, way too big. Here's a 36. I'll slot these out the proper width. The width of the slot itself. Do that when you get it on the guitar. Start to line strings up. Through it. And we'll determine how deep we want to go with those two. I can't see that one so well. These files really cut in, man. Alright, I'm going to use a 40 on this uh, fourth string. This is just, it's a whole lot faster than measuring and, uh, you know, I've got a, 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 like a ruler thing here someplace that you can lay the nut down on it and lay it up to it and it's got different string spacings on it. You can do that. Or you could manually measure it out and cut them. But you can see, man, how much faster this is. And it's dead on the money, according to Martin, the same as a Martin nut would be. The disc string spacing I'm talking about. We'll set the depth later later on. And a six string here. I like to let about half of the diameter of the string stick up out of these slots. There, see, it's a done deal. I would have spent way more time on that just looking for that ruler. <laughs> All right. I don't know if you can see it or not. I can't even find the camera, man. It's not going to focus. Yeah, maybe you can see them there a little bit. All right, the nut is ready to glue in. I'm not going to glue it in yet. Maybe not at all tonight. I'm just going to lay this in the groove here. And I'm going to put that uh, intonation mark I showed you. In front of the second string. And then come out here and mark where the end of the... Uh, the end of the saddle is. In fact, I'll just hold it there and give it that number. That's how much of the saddle we need to take off. I can't really see the, the mark here a little bit. Wish I could see that better than that. I'm just holding the pencil up against here at the end of the uh, end of the slot right there. Putting the saddle in to get this where I want it. Make sure the pencil didn't move. Yeah, I can see that better now. And back to the grinding stone <laughs> wheel. Let's do it. See my mark here. It's going to come straight down. sander and uh, kind of rounded this end off and took the sharp corners away and I had to take a little bit off of this end side and this side of this end so the saddle would slide all the way to the end of the slot and it does it's perfect man it is perfect so all I'm going to do now is mark this side this pencil Rub that off. Yeah, it's better. I probably should use a like a felt tip pen for this. I don't know. 
perfect. Put it back in the vise and let's cut it again. <laughs> I'm not going to hold you guys for all this, but I'm just going to do what you just now watched me do. Put it back in the vise, chop this end of it off, and then round the ends off. And it should fit perfect in there. Now you can see how I kind of rounded the edges over on both sides of it. Just It was sharp there. It's still sharp a little bit down here, but that's okay. That's going to be in the guitar. Uh, see, it goes like that. Now, if you notice, I never took any thickness away from this saddle. I never sanded any on this side, never sanded any on this side. And it don't fit really very tight in there at all. There it is. It's in there, but it's... I mean, you're not going to lift the guitar by pulling it out. I can pull it out with two fingers. This is my... You know, so it's not going to fit tight. There's nothing I can do about that. He wanted me to use that. <laughs> And it's not, uh, it doesn't fit in the slot as tight as I would like to see. But, you know, sometimes it's better to leave them a little bit loose like that. On some guitars, it helps the vibration. So, uh, we'll find out when we string it up, I guess. So, that's it for today, my fine feathered YouTube junkies. <laughs> I hope something we did today will help you with uh, maybe something you're going to do or have to do. I don't want to glue that nut in yet, see, because we're going to string it up and uh, we're going to get the nut uh, action right, you know what I mean? The nut height, i have to probably file some off the bottom of the nut to get that right. And then uh, once we get that right, we'll glue that sucker in, string this up. We're going to put strings on this, you realize, probably the next video, we're probably going to string this thing up and do that, get the nut glued in. And uh, oh, I'm gonna put some uh, oil on that fretboard too before and, and some uh, semi-chrome. Yeah, I might make a video doing that. People talking about semi-chrome and uh, linseed oil. So I don't know, one of the two. I'm gonna make a video doing that next on this, or I'll go ahead and do that. And the next video on this, we'll put strings on it and maybe get to here. Cheers. Thanks for hanging out with me whenever you, you are here, <laughs> and I'll see you on another video pretty soon. Stay safe and healthy.